Let me ask you something. How many hours of your life have you spent watching these 90 minute coding walkthroughs on YouTube where they teach you to code something? Let me follow that up with another question. Can someone get good at playing piano only by watching videos of someone else playing piano? Can someone get good at basketball by watching the NBA or by watching a tutorial on how to throw the ball into the hoop? Or can someone get good at video games, you know, like Apex Legends or Counter-Strike, a first-person shooter, just by watching Twitch streams or by watching other people play? Are you suddenly going to headshot everyone on the next round of the game? Well, I think we both know that the answer to these questions is obviously no. And so let me ask you, what makes you think that programming is any different from these skills? That continuing to watch videos is going to actually help you improve at programming? So this is a problem that I run into often. My name is Lewis. I'm an ex-Googler who worked at Googler for four years before becoming a teacher. And I've essentially made it my life's mission to tell students to stop watching so many damn videos. And if you're more curious about my background, you can check the trailer on my channel. But otherwise today, I'm going to continue to tell you about why watching videos isn't effective for learning programming. So the first reason is that watching videos is a form of passive learning not active learning. When you watch videos, you probably feel like you understand, right? But you feel like you understand, but you don't actually understand. And this is probably one of the things that students tell me most often, which is, you know, okay, I understood the lecture completely. But, you know, when I sit down to code, and, you know, I know you guys are coding on the numpad like this, right? They tell me when they sit down to code, they can't solve the task in front of them. They just get stuck. And the reason is that if you're watching too many videos, which many of my students do instead of, you know, properly trying to solve the problem, then you haven't spent enough time actually doing the act of typing out things, of programming itself, which is the most important factor in improving. Now, the second reason is that you won't learn to fix mistakes just by watching videos. And actually, you know, there's a lot of important things in coding, but one of those things is debugging skills. Actually, I'd estimate that maybe 30% of your time is actually spent writing code, and maybe 70% is spent looking at error messages, trying to figure out mistakes you made, and trying to find those errors within your code. But if you're just watching videos, you're not going to be able to learn to do that. That's something that people learn only by making those mistakes themselves and trying to solve it. You know, I'm sure in these lectures, sometimes the lecturer is saying like, oh, but can you guess the mistake that I made? But the truth is that it's not comprehensive. You know, this person who's an expert at programming is not going to make the same set of mistakes that you do. And so simply by watching these lectures, you're not going to be able to capture the experience of making a mistake, sitting down at the keyboard and trying to figure out, like, why isn't my code working? How, how do I solve this mistake? That's something that doesn't come from lectures. That's something that comes from programming. Now, the third issue is that you don't actually learn to solve problems, right? And this is related to the difference between passive and active learning. There's a huge difference between having a solution given to you by a lecture or a video and actually solving that problem yourself with only the resources available to you, like Google Stack Overflow, right? And I would argue that that's the whole reason that things like exams exist, right? Exams exist because we need to evaluate our ability to problem solve essentially in a more isolated environment. I'm not saying that all coding is an exam, but I am saying that when you watch videos, you never practice that part of your brain that problem solves. So how should videos be used? Actually, I have a whole video about this called, you know, the biggest mistakes that students of coding make. And, you know, I'll put it somewhere in here, depending on where YouTube decides to put it. But if you're interested in improving your learning process, you know, in delving into what we call meta learning, that is introspecting the process of learning itself, then I advise you to watch this video. Because in that video, I really, really, really break down the concept of watching too many videos and how videos should be used. So if you want to continue to hear me shitting on videos, then please click this other video. So with that being said, if you're someone who has this problem, who watches so many videos but still has trouble coding, then leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. But other than that, you know, please subscribe if you're interested in videos of this caliber, you know, talking about things related to programming education. And I'll see you on the next video.